What's up, everybody? I'm Jay Kid, and this is Splash Bros Morning Show. Time to punch a bitch voice in the dick. So I got done writing a business plan. It's just a very rough draft for a company that we are starting, me and a couple friends. And I have never done a business plan before. And now that I finally did one, I realized just how irresponsible and stupid it was that I haven't done one. Basically, it's the blueprints to your business. So, I've said it before. Uh, I've asked the question, are you running your business like a hobby or like a business? And I've always been running it as a hobby. So, now that I'm starting to put my head down, figure out the business aspect, do all of the legit logistics instead of just half-assing it and just doing whatever I think is the right thing I'm I'm seeing a way bigger difference in how the company would be ran because you have the blueprint so anytime you're wondering what you need to do next or what the next move is you just check it out look at your at your business plan look at the blueprint and it should walk you through it it shouldn't walk you through exactly step by step your day to day, but it should give you enough information to where you're like, all right, so this year, this is what we have to do. And then from there, you break down what needs to get done in the year. So if your business plan says for this year, we're making a million, you break down how much you need monthly, you break that down how much you need weekly, and then you get to work. So the current business plan I just did, if we can hit the numbers that I estimate, then within five years it'll bank 9.26 million for that year so it's just going to gradually grow throughout its lifetime there will probably be a, a peak but i think that'll be a ways away maybe like 10 years 15 years we'll see it all depends on how many locations we open so within the first three years we plan to open three locations and then two more over the next two so by the end of five years we plan to have five locations it's gonna be amazing i think families will really enjoy it i think kids are gonna love it they're gonna look forward to it they're gonna be so excited it's something that people can do annually if you have the money you can do it monthly and your kids are gonna be ecstatic I mean, let's be honest, we're all giant children, so you're going to be ecstatic too. Like, we don't we don't turn into adults, we just get taller and bigger. That's my that's the way I look at it. None of us are adults. We've got good poker faces. Like some of us are more stern than others, some are more strict. Some try to play the role and pretend like I'm a big boy now. Look at my truck. Like, but we all know, man, we don't, we don't really grow up. I mean, you do, you age, you get wiser, but come on, man, we're all, we're all giant children. We don't know what the fuck we're doing on this planet. We have no idea. We're like, let's just eat, sleep, poop, and repeat. Go to work, do all the things. But honestly, I feel like we got to be here for more. So that's why I'm doing this. Live your dream chase your goals you can do it if you need help i'm down to help hopefully we can start the community that helps everybody um you know what not hopefully we will start a community that helps everybody i'm trying to work on getting all that shit out of my vocabulary no more need no more hopefullys we're speaking definitive and that's the way it is so you got to be confident about what you're doing. You got to speak it into existence. Let the world know when they look at you stupid, just look at them stupid. Because they don't understand. They don't they don't have an imagination. They're not creative. They don't see what you see. So don't let anybody shit on your dreams. None of that. That's why that's why we're here. We all have something that we want. And whether that be to be a rapper, you want to be a business owner, you want to be an entrepreneur, but you just don't quite know what that means. You're just looking for anything to bring you in money. Like, anything like that, I can help you find your focus. I can help you see your potential. And I will push you towards it every day.
but that's that's basically what I did yesterday. Worked on the business plan, got it, got the second draft done. Still shit, like still shit. I can't write that. I can write, but it's probably high school to low college level. That's what I would assume. But other than that, I think we're we're going, we're golden. Everything's rolling. Today I'm going to be editing some pictures, getting that part up and running, and then what else do I have to do? I got to get get fit with the fat kid, edited and uploaded. We got that going finally. I've got my kids show which is I'm gonna call it a family show because if we put kids and then we play Call of Duty it'll, we'll probably get in trouble so we got the family show going um, I've got the dad pod that I'm working on me and my son bringing on other families playing games just just having fun getting to enjoy other people's company without technology the only technology is what we're using to record and what we're playing with no cell phones just one on one with some parents, some kids, just having fun, letting their little brains run wild, teaching them the creative side, letting everybody just get away. So, as soon as all this bullshit stops, everyone stops freaking out, the pandemic starts starts to break away or starts to get taken care of. I'm not exactly sure how to word that. I feel like that all that sounded like I'm an idiot, but hey, it is what it is. But once all this stuff starts getting taken care of, then we'll probably start that. Until then, I think me and Skylar will just start. Skylar and I. Skylar and I will just start. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm trying. I'm constantly trying to grow. So if I catch myself messing up, I'm going to call myself on it. Uh, so if, if anyone sees anything that I'm doing or they hear anything that I'm saying and they're like, dude, what a fucking idiot. Let me know. I'll work on it trying to get better that's that's the only thing that I think is important is progressing just progress feed your family get shit done do what you love and just have fun with it like I I thoroughly enjoy just working my ass off I don't know why I like just locking down getting on the computer typing stuff up writing stuff out editing stuff like the business aspect is the part I love. I thought it was all this other stuff like being a producer, doing the videography, doing the photography. Like I love all of that stuff, but business is that's my shit. Yep. I said it like that. I feel like I probably shouldn't. I should be more professional, but you know what? This is me. I'm hungry. I'm a hard working workhorse. Like, I'm an idea man, I talk the way I talk, I cuss like a sailor, I've got a good poker face when it comes to business though, when it comes to being around people that, that need it, I can turn into, yes sir, yes man, so we have to go and do this right away. You know, I was thinking that we should just maybe start doing promotion with a couple more images, we'll do a detailed edit where we bring in your product, we throw in a couple girls and... You know, you got to hit them like that. But you can't... I'm never like, yeah, what's up, dog? We got to... Yeah, you're going to do this shit. And then, ah, bro, we got to fucking do that. Oh, that's so sweet, man. Can't do that. Can't do that. You got to have your work voice and your and your your personal voice. If your personal voice is the same as your work voice and, like, your work voice is legit then and sweet, you sound a little boring to me, but sweet... Like, we all have to play this hidden image game. I've known, I've known teachers that party like crazy, blowing lines, drinking, getting hammered to the point where they're hungover as shit, and then they go teach their preschool class or their kindergarten class. Like, we all have this fake image, and it's stupid. It's dumb. I mean, we should be ourselves, show the world who we are. If we don't want our kids to be like that, then we need to talk to them about it, not hide it, 
Don't lie to them. Don't do any of that bullshit. Just be yourself. Live it. Love it. Flaunt it. Fuck it. And just shove it in their face. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. If you can do your job, if you can put on that business face, then fuck it. If potential buyers, potential people see this and they're like, oh, what the hell, then I guess we weren't meant to work together. I can't please everybody. I don't plan to, and I don't really want to. I don't care about anyone's feelings. I, I know that's fucked up, I guess, but it, I really don't. I mean, I'm sorry and shit, I guess, but I don't give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. I don't. I don't. Because in the end, at the end of the day, your feelings don't affect me. My feelings shouldn't affect you. If I make you sad, I'm going to I'm going to feel terrible. So I guess that's not completely true. I don't give a fuck about your overreactions. Let's put it that way. That's that's a lot better than saying I don't give a fuck about your feelings cuz I do care about your feelings. I do. I don't give a fuck about your overreactions. I don't. There you go. That's that's way better. Cuz I do care if you get sad, I'm going to get sad and I'll I'll cry with you. Like, I'll hug you. If you get happy, I'll be happy with you. If you get mad, I'll get mad with you. But but if you overreact, I can't do that. So, I can't be responsible for everybody's overreactions. I can't really be responsible for your feelings. If you get sad over some something that's really sad that I did, then I'm going to apologize. I'm going to man up to it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix it. If you get sad over something that I did that I don't find, on well, fuck. You know what? I'm going to have to do some real soul searching about that one. Because, I don't know, I feel like people have the right to be sad. They have the right to their emotions, but it just, it comes to an extent. You have, your, you have the right to your emotions, but I shouldn't have to worry about it. I feel like... I feel like if you're going to get emotional, you need to figure out why. But me saying that I don't give a fuck the way I was, as I, like, contemplate it and think about it a little deeper, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm very empathetic, so I probably would care. I probably would give a fuck a lot. <laughs> I'd probably give a lot of fucks. So I tried to play hard there, but as I think about it, it's not true. It's not true. I, I thought I was cool, but I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I would care about your feelings. This show is just like basically me rambling at the camera, which is just fun, I guess. Hopefully it's fun for you guys. This is not exactly what I thought. Look at this fucking belly. Jesus Christ. It's slowly going down. Get fit with the fat kid, or get fit fat kid should help that. But this video has gone off on a tangent. I'm not even sure what the fuck we're talking about anymore, so I'll probably just end it here. I do care about your feelings. I don't know why I went off on that, but yeah, it happened. We'll just end it now before it just turns into some nonsensical nonsense. I wonder if that makes sense. Nonsensical nonsense. We'll see. I'm Jay Kid. Let's learn together. Let's grow together. I've got to edit some photos. Probably write another business plan for another company. Edit, post up some videos. And that'll be it. So we got photos, videos, business plan, workout. And that's it for my day. Let me know what you guys got going on. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm Jay Kid. This is the morning show.